Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, we'll be talking about some problems that your PS5 might be having so it can't connect to the internet and how you can fix this so you can finally connect your PS5 to the internet again. So there's some different fixes, some are easier, some are more complicated, and we'll be going over Wi-Fi first and then LAN. So first of all, make sure your PS5 is not too far away from the router. So if the router is way too far away, it will have trouble connecting. Plus your internet won't be good even if it is connected. So try to place the router really close to the PS5, ideally next to you on the same desk wherever you're using the PS5. Next, you can also just try restarting the router and the PS5. So on the PS5, just press the PS button on your controller, hit the power icon on the bottom and select restart PS5. And for the router, you just wanna plug it in and out after you plug it out, wait a few seconds before you plug it in again, or sometimes routers, the newer routers have a restart button, so you can just hit that as well. That will restart everything, and then that usually fixes the problem. Now, if your PS5 can't find the Wi-Fi network, then you might want to connect to the Wi-Fi network manually. You can also do that on the PS5. So open PlayStation Home, then you wanna to go to the settings from the top right corner and select network in the settings then navigate to set up internet connection. And right here, you wanna set up manually, press that and use Wi-Fi, and then enter manually. And then you will have to enter the service set identifier, SSID, and security method, proxy server, and other details. You can find these details either in the router settings, so log into your router, check the router settings, or you can ask your local internet service provider. This is a bit more complicated, you can also Google it, maybe you can find that online. Next, you can also actually run a test on the PS5 to check if your network is working or maybe the speed is just really slow at the moment. So to do that, you want to head to the PlayStation settings, go to network, and then go to connection status. Right here, you can select test internet connection, then wait for a few seconds and then you'll see if there is any connectivity issues or if the internet is just slow or something else is not working correctly. Next, a bit more complicated thing you can try is tweaking the DNS server settings. Some people have tried this out. People on Reddit said that it worked for them. So let's try this as well if the other things have not helped you yet. So navigate to the PS5 settings, go to network and go to set up internet connection again. Then select the Wi-Fi that is not working correctly and press options on your controller. Click advanced settings and then you want to expand to DNS settings and select manually. And this way you can then manually change the DNS settings of the internet you're connected to that is not working correctly. Now you want to enter 8.8.8.8 in the primary DNS and 8.8.4.4 in the secondary DNS. Then click OK, and then this might be able to solve the connectivity issues. This has worked for some other people, hopefully it works for you as well. What can also happen is that maybe if your kids are playing on the PS5 and maybe you block them from in the internet so they can't play too long. So to fix that, to unblock the PS5 from the internet, you want to go to the local internet service provider and open connected devices. So go on to your router settings. You usually find those on your PC. So you can go to the router settings. You'll have to log in with your password and then you can look at the connected devices that are connected to the router, to the Wi-Fi, And then you can find the PS5 under block devices and you can tap it to unblock it if it is actually blocked. Of course, it can also just happen that your local internet service provider is down at the moment. Maybe they have some troubles, maybe there was a storm, so no one has internet. You can just cross check this by checking on other devices in your network. So if your phone's not working as well, if your PC is not working as well, then the problem might also be with the internet service provider. And then you can just Google this. You can check the website down detector to check if your internet service provider has some issues at the moment. Of course, the same thing can apply for the PlayStation network servers, so you can also check that. And since the internet's wor not working for you on the PS5, you won't be able to install any updates, so you can use, actually use your PC or Mac to do this and install the latest system version to your PS5. To do this, you need a USB drive. First of all, you want to plug that into your PC so let's hop on over to the PC and now you want to open the file explorer and then you want to go into go into any folder let's go into documents and then you want to create a new folder that is called ps5 let's call it ps5 
and then in this folder you want to create another folder that is called update and now we'll have a link in bio to the ps5 console update file that is this right here it'll take a bit to load so now you want to just hit save and first of all look for the folder so let's go to, into our ps5 folder right here go to your update folder and now hit save and then that will install the newest update onto your pc onto the flash drive you just want to tr have these documents in the flash drive so make sure you navigate to that so you can then just copy this whole folder this ps5 folder you can hit copy and then you can look for the under the local disk here you'll see the usb stick you just inserted and then you can go onto the usb stick and then just right click again and hit paste to transfer those files now you want to insert that usb stick that we just downloaded the update on onto your ps5 console you want to plug that in and you want to enter the ps5 safe mode by pressing and holding the power button and releasing it after the second beep now you want to go to the update system software in the safe mode and update from usb storage device and then click ok and now that update will be transferred that update will be downloaded onto your ps5 even though you have no internet on there lastly let's go over what you can do if your ps5 is having some troubles when connected to the lan internet so you're using a lan cable so it's not connected wireless it's connected via a wire so first of all you can try a different lan port on the router you'll see on the back of your router there will be different lan cable plugin options and you can try a different option right there maybe that there's an issue with the one you're using at the moment of course the ethernet cable the lan cable that you're using might also be faulty so you can try a different one there these aren't too expensive to get on amazon just buy a new one make sure it's long enough to connect to your router or wherever you have your plug ps5 plugged in and try that lastly if none of these options have helped you you can try restoring your ps5 to the default settings so to do that go to ps5 safe mode using the power button trick i just explained before so hold the power button and then release it after the second beep and then you want to go and select restore default settings and this will restore the ps5 default settings to the normal settings this will also restore the network settings so this might solve any problems with your network if you change anything there i hope this helped you out i hope your ps5 is working again your internet is working again and if it isn't, make sure to drop a comment down below. And if it is, make sure to like and subscribe.